You clicked this video because you wanted to know what it looks like to have a steak that costs $2,250. Well, this is what it looks like. Feast your eyes upon this. It is by Iwachiku Company, product of Japan. It was never frozen. Look at the marble, dude. That is like, do you want some beef with a little bit of your fat? Damn, look at this. Oh, oh, dude, this is huge. This is crazy. Okay, let's see. How do you even do this correctly? Wow. Oh my God, I never seen such a beautiful thing. Is this ribeye? Because it looks like ribeye. Rib yeah. This is my favorite cut of steak too. It's ribeye. Oh shoot, how are we going to do this? This area right here, this is my favorite. This part, not so much, but I bet it's going to be super soft. We have Josh here. He's going to be doing the honors of chopping this. By the way, it's like 8 in the morning right now. And this is what we're having for breakfast? I don't know. I don't think I'm even going to eat a meal today because I'm just going to wait for this. Oh no. Feast your eyes upon these. Feast your eyes on this. Feast your eyes on this. Wow, wow. What are you going to do to it? Just going to slice it up first. And then we'll... Are you going to cut it like a stick? Yeah, like a stick. Wow. And cut the fat off. You're going to cut the fat off? How dare you? Yeah. You're not going to eat it? We use the fat to grease the pan. Oh, so I like that idea. So the fat in the meat stays in there. Okay, okay, okay. I like your idea. Okay. So we're supposed to wait until guests come, but um, we got a little impatient and decided to cook some up already. And all of this is going straight to the doggy. <laughs> now let's go for it. All right, let's see. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. All right, all right I'm gonna go for this one. Whoa, that's really soft. I don't even have to chew. Dude, that's like sashimi. All right, oh my God. And it tastes amazing. It's really good. Mm. Yeah, a little, need yeah, a little bit more time. Mm, yeah. If you did it with a little bit of higher heat, it would sear it and give it a crisp. And we had Waggy before. Waggy for breakfast, dude. Damn. And Darian likes his meat fully cooked. He doesn't like it rare like this. It, it breaks down like butter. It's yeah, it's crazy. It's high quality, man. God damn, that's strange. I know. Wow, look at that one. He put a piece of garlic and a piece of wasabs on it. Is that one for Dasher? Want one Dasher? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, don't give it to him. It's too expensive. <laughs> you can lick my fingers though, baby. So I know you probably clicked on this video because you wanted to see some Wagyu. You wanted to see some A5 delicious steaks. And last night, this is what I ate. This is what we cooked. It was freaking amazing. But unfortunately, because it was the day of the launch, I was so dang busy, I didn't get any of this into the food vlog. But you know what I'm gonna do is we have a lot of leftovers. So sporadically throughout the whole entire week, I'm gonna be cooking this stuff and I'm gonna be putting it in the video. But here's the thing, yesterday was a great celebration. The reason why we had all of this good food and good people is because we launched our mini mushroom farm kit I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below because I know some of you guys were waiting for it. And if you didn't get the news, here it is. Boom, this is what it looks like. You can actually grow mushrooms at home, shiitake. It's amazing. So later on today, I'm gonna go to the farm and I'm gonna personally package some of them. Also, we are opening up our first Jumbi in the East Coast. I just took a shower and we're gonna go check it out. So let's go see how they're building it. Here we are in Princeton, New Jersey. We're gonna be walking down to the Jumbi location. And if all goes well, get this guys, we're gonna be open in January. January, January. First month of the year. Oh shit, I fucking did it fall backwards. Damn, it's so, it's so strong. It's so strong, all right. It's a whole song. Nope, guess what? It's gonna be Jumbi, baby. Let's go. They're constructing. Let's take a look at this. 
So here are the blueprints. You walk in through here. You're like, oh shit, let me order some drinks. Let me chill. Oh shoot, what's this? You need sex in the bathroom. So back there is corner seating. Yeah, so this will be bankhead seating right here. Yeah. For like 15. Yeah. And then you'll have your three arches. Woo! On this wall. Yeah. And here you'll have three arches on this wall as well. I can imagine it. This Whoa. is how we escape in case there's a fire. Yeah. There's a fire. Let's get out of here. Oh no, there's a fire. Hi, pretty birdie. It reminds me of Dumb and Dumber, remember when the bird was like, that's a good bird. <laughs> and then the bird's head was like off. <laughs> that's a birdie. As promised, throughout the day, we're gonna be eating the rest of this Wagyu. I'm cooking for the homies right now. I got some shishito peppers going in and this is made from Wagyu fat. I'm gonna cook some potatoes and we're just gonna have some steak and potatoes. Mm -mm -mm. Here we go. This is the first meal of the day and it's already like 5 p.m. They got my potatoes and a mountain of Wagyu. Wow, look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh nice. I How do you mean scoot over? How do you scoot over? How do you scoot over? Yo, it's a... <laughs> Alright, we're good. It's a three-seater oh, Porsche right little, here. Little, little, little. <laughs> scoot back, scoot back, scoot back. Somehow we found ourselves at a bouldering gym. Nice works. Hey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Spider Josh, Spider Josh. Gambling time, all right. So we're gonna see who can hold on this the longest. And whoever holds it the longest wins 20 bucks. We all pitch in five. All right, let's go. Three, two, one. 55 oh, seconds. Terrible. Three, two, one. Oh, 29 seconds. I hear they're stopping. 26 <laughs> seconds. Oh, oh no. that was 50. 50. Yeah, that was 50. Don't, 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 oh, don't, don't. Oh, oh, 56. Oh, what did I get? He beat you. Oh my god. Oh, so god. yeah, okay. so what, what's your name, buddy? Eric. Eric, he is a fan. He came out of nowhere and you said, Joe, what's up? And uh, you get to be a part of this challenge that we're doing. We're gonna see how long you can hold this. So far, I am the winner and I'm not gonna tell you how long I did it for. How long can you go? Push, you're you almost there. The I think you can do this all day. No, no, keep going, dude, keep going. <laughs> Dude, this kid doesn't glitch. <laughs> Whoa, 125. Wow. Hell yeah, dude. One minute and 25. Okay, so I guess I was the top and I was at 56 seconds. Yeah. And you beat me by 30. Yeah. How are you playing that? But he doesn't win $20, though. <laughs> All I want for Christmas is you. People didn't even ask for this, but I'm so thankful that these were being bought that I decided that I'm gonna be signing it with a happy face as a show of thank you because you make me smile for supporting our wonderful cause. All proceeds go to my pocket. Thank you very much. So you might be wondering, how many harvests can I get out of one log? So generally, on average, you could get about three whole harvests. That means you can pick off the mushroom once, twice, and a third time. But if you're really, really good, I've seen people get up to like six. My personal top was five times. So for all of you asking, yes, it's good for more than one harvest. Happy growing. So right now, I am personally packaging this one. It's going out to somebody lovely. You get your humidity kit, you get your spray bottle, you get your well packaged right here. And you get, oh, you get your personal brochure that I personally signed with 
a kiss right here. Don't worry, I'm not transferring Corona this way. It's not a, it's actually very safe. I got tested before I came here and it said positively negative. That's what it said. Okay. And then this is how we're going to do it. We tested this. If you guys haven't seen the way we tested these boxes, this is what it looks like. The dudes at the post office, if it says fragile, they're going to do this. Oh no, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> This box is impenetrable! I have nothing but the utmost confidence that this right... Oh shit! Oh shit! Like I said, confidence in our freaking product, baby! Boom! After all of that, it took a beating harder than I did in my childhood. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. So you know for a fact, it's gonna be pretty amazing. And this box is gonna be pretty nice. And it's gonna be pretty cute because it's sealed with a kiss. And it's protected by my Corona. Thank you for purchasing our Mushroom King Farm kits. I hope you have a great time growing this at home yourself. If you didn't get it, the link is in the description box below and I'm giving you 10% off right now if you go get it right now, okay? Damn, baby, look at that beautiful sunset on the Mushroom King Farm. It's very beautiful and it's very orange tonight. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday. Birthday. Chuck E. Cheese. Birthday. Chuck E. Chuck E. Chuck E. Cheese for my birthday.